Hello, and welcome to the next episode of vSphere Breakroom Chats. I'm Glenn Simon, Product Marketing Manager for vSphere. In this series, we bring VMware experts to talk about VMware's uh, vSphere and related technologies. Today's episode, we're talking about VMware Cloud Disaster Recovery and integration with vSphere Plus. Our expert today is Mike McLaughlin, Technical Marketing Manager for VMware Cloud Disaster Recovery. Hello, Mike, welcome. Hi, Glenn, thanks for having me today. So let's, uh, let's talk about, so, so what, we've taught, what we've announced up to this point is that we've integrated vSphere Plus with VMware Cloud Disaster Recovery. So is there anything you can tell us about this integration and what problems we're trying to solve by doing this integration? Yeah, yeah, I think, I think almost every time we look at something like this, we're looking at ways to simplify the, work, the, the workflow, the process. And we've got a situation here with VMware Cloud Disaster Recovery where typically that's the domain of the infrastructure and, and DR and data protection admins. And we have the domain of the application or the VM owners, and we need to sort of bring those together. So we, we've got this natural environment where customers that are using VMware Cloud Disaster Recovery have already invested in VMware Cloud and AWS. They're using that as their disaster recovery site and they've already enabled those capabilities in the cloud services portal. Uh, vSphere Plus just comes along as an, uh, just a natural extra layer to add in there to help simplify the problem. This is basically gonna give the VM owners more visibility into their workloads, into their workflow, into the virtual machines, but also allow them to communicate uh, more readily with the protection or DR people. So we've got these two teams in most organizations and the integration of these two products kind of brings that a little bit closer together now. So that the, the application or VM owner, as they're going through and they're using vSphere Plus, they've already got their cloud presence for disaster recovery. They can leverage that cloud portal and those services now for their work as well. And so it, I think the integration makes a lot of sense. You know, if you're already a VMware Cloud Disaster Recovery uh, user, you're already in VMware Cloud on AWS, extend it one layer layer further and give your VM admins some additional functionality. Okay, so it sounds like that we're, in terms of the people who are going to care most about this, it's going to be people who you know are vSphere admins, right? Folks who are managing vSphere, as well as the people responsible for the DR functions in the company. Is that, is that right? I would, I would say as, as long as that also includes um, the, the people that are actually working on the VMs themselves. Because with, with vSphere Plus, you're working out of the cloud portal, you can basically, the workflows, you can create and, and, and manage your virtual machines there. One of the extra tabs in there now is the protection tab. So you can basically connect that to, and that might be your vSphere admin or your DR admin. It, it really depends on which hat that person is wearing today. So there's, there is those three, basically, uh, audiences that this would, this would benefit. Mm -hmm. And what can they do when they go into, what types of things might they, be, might they be able to do with this integration? Well, so the integration is actually fairly simple. So the, the way uh, VMware Cloud Disaster Recovery is set up, there's this notion of, um, of a protection group policy that is essentially a set of rules on what to protect and how often and, and how long to keep those uh, backup copies around. And the DR administrator or the data protection person will typically go through and set up these policies and they've got to have all these conversations with the application owners for what needs to be included or what doesn't. One of the capabilities that's in vSphere is, is tagging. Everyone's probably familiar with resource tags, being able to go in and apply these two things in the environment. Well, what we can do now is use the, the tagging capability of the disaster recovery identification and then the application of that tag to a virtual machine that you want to fall into that policy. So the kind of the way it works is from the VM you know, sort of owner who's working through vSphere Plus and, and working through their virtual machine, at some point they want to protect it. They go in and they look for the appropriate tag that their data protection person has set up for them, select that, and it becomes part of, just immediately part of the data protection scheme. All right, the great thing about that though, is that virtual machine is now included in the protection policies that the DR administrator has set up. It now also becomes a candidate for any of the disaster recovery plans or even the ransomware recovery capabilities that we've added in as well. So once that virtual machine gets protected in VMware Cloud Disaster Recovery, 
All right, then we can build it into these other these other capabilities of disaster recovery and ransomware recovery. And it's and it's fairly simple then for the vSphere or the VM you know, owner to literally follow that virtual machine through its life cycle in the in the cloud portal interface. And when he wants to just pick up the protect tab and say, protect this with you know, application X policy. And that's all they need to sort of coordinate with their DR administrators. And so that that conversation, because it's fairly dynamic at times. I mean, if, if you if you just had a single set of virtual machines that you needed to protect and, they, and that population would never change, you'd send that list to your administrator. But the reality is, is virtual machines and applications come and go quite a bit, and you want to make sure that they are getting protected appropriately. And this connectivity, this integration through that simple hook in there between the policy and the virtual machine makes it very easy for these two groups to say more in sync. So, so I guess vSphere, uh, excuse me, vSphere Plus has its cloud console. Yes. And then VMware Cloud Disaster Recovery also has a cloud console for yeah. managing that. But I guess there's some, some interface capabilities within vSphere Plus, like you're saying, to just be able to select uh, various VMs for protection. Right. Um, but you're also saying, I guess, that another way to do it is through tagging. So we're, we're using the tagging to make that connectivity. I mean, that's that's sort of- Oh, the I, see. I see. So when, when, you, when you look at like, what what's the secret sauce? Well, we, we enable these two services. So you're in your, your cloud services portal, the DR administrator goes off to VMware Cloud Disaster Recovery and is worried about setting up the policies and setting up the plans and managing the, the backups and the replication but they don't necessarily always have a, a, an immediate view into the inventory that needs protected. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna use tags to communicate that back and forth. So the application owners can basically say, hey, I just created a new virtual machine. Please put it into the protection policy. All they've got to do now is go into the vSphere Plus interface, find the appropriate policy that was set up, click a button, it gets tagged, it gets picked up automatically into the VMware Cloud Disaster Recovery ecosystem. So now, if I'm a vSphere admin, do I have any visibility into what's protected, or at least to give me a warm fuzzy that the VMs, you know? So there are, um, you can see that to some degree through the vSphere Plus interface, so you'll see sort of what's being protected and, and whether it's been uh, just in any of the workflows, you've got your inventory of virtual machines. We can also see that from the DR side as well. Mm -hmm. So the disaster recovery administrator will, will see everything that's been put into one of these policies. They're not going out picking up all the virtual machines. They're basically allowing the, the vSphere and, and the VM owners to say, here's another candidate. And they populate the policies through this, this connectivity of the, of the two tools. Okay. Yeah. Now, let's say okay this this is this sounds interesting you know let's uh let's check it out or maybe try it out or or maybe just turn it on how what how hard is it to just you know turn this functionality on um it's actually it's pretty easy it's pretty simple i mean the vmware clouds uh, portal you've got to sort of already be in that environment or, or make that part of what you're looking at but once you go to the cloud services portal there's a number of vmware services there all right, and so you could simply go and say search for disaster recovery and enable that service and maybe search for vSphere Plus and enable that service and you'll get two service tiles. One will be for the DR administrator and one will be for the vSphere administrator. So depending on who's doing that or which hatch and both of those services then are think of as easy to activate cloud services that uh, you can subscribe to and then they begin working. Now, once you have that, you point them to your vCenters. The disaster recovery solution is basically going to say, I've got to protect this, this vCenter environment and all of the inventory in there. And the, the DR administrator will set that up. And the vSphere administrator says, I need to manage the virtual machines in this environment. And I'll have these vSphere Plus cloud portal to do that and see that inventory and the stats and the workflow and a number of additional things that we can do. And then the two of them basically decide what policies need to be put in place and then the inventory can be handed back and forth through the integration. Wow, well, seems pretty pretty easy. Yeah, it's so, actually pretty cool. Uh, I mean, uh, otherwise, your DR administrator is constantly sending out an email going, right, what's right. new this week? Did I catch everything? Here's <laughs> the list of things that I'm protecting. Is that good? Yeah. Or they're constantly getting emails from the VM team going, 
I created three new VMs. Can you make sure they're protected tonight? <laughs> yeah, it makes so much more sense to integrate that within the uh, the interfaces that they're already using. Yeah, put it so in just the realm of the people responsible. Yeah, yeah. So, so Mike, just on a personal level, though, what do you you know what are you really excited about as far as this integration? Well, the, the thing that I like, and this this kind of comes back to. Uh, I'll just say VMware's journey into the cloud is one, but I, I'm in the cloud services portal doing a number of things. I'm responsible for the disaster recovery technology pieces, but I also see VMware Cloud on AWS, just, just the data center piece. I see our, our uh, network, our NSX capabilities there, our vSphere Plus, anything that we can layer in easily into that environment. I basically manage my environment pretty much from a laptop these days. Because my data center is in the cloud. <laughs> mm -hmm. And and we have a number of services that you can begin to just sort of integrate and, and put together and get a much larger, broader functioning ecosystem. And this is just one more example of that. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, okay. So, uh, say some folks out there are interested in learning a little bit more about this. So, where can they go to learn more? So I would I would say go to the VMware Cloud Tech Zone page. I mean, obviously VMware.com has plenty of resources, and you can always go there and look around and and you know look for things. VMware Cloud on AWS is going to be one of the the key underlying pieces of both of these things we talked about today. And there is a VMware Cloud Tech Zone. It's called VMC.TechZone.VMware.com, and on there you'll see a number of things. And the disaster recovery will be one of the use cases the draft services that you know we're delivering. And in there, you'll be able to see some of the other resources that you can get to videos and white papers and blogs and hands-on lab and a number of other things are directed from there. That's typically a good starting spot. Um, okay. There's also, you know, I mean, the, the vSphere Plus, you can find right up on the VMware.com homepage. Yeah, I think there's a webcast that we did together a while back. Uh, that I... <laughs> there is. <laughs> we we kind of <laughs> went through and like, oh, here's one of those this little spot here and is basically the vSphere administrator reaching out to me, the DR administrator, and saying, hey, can you make sure that we've got a policy that I can protect these with? And I'm going to add some more virtual machines into your inventory. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, and for everyone's benefit, I'll make sure those links are included in the uh, YouTube description yeah. so uh, we can take you to uh, those uh, resources as well. Uh, and with that, we've come to the end of this episode. Thanks, Mike, for joining us today. Thanks, Glenn. And if you like this episode, uh, please join us next time for another episode of Break Room Chats. This is your host, Glenn Sin Simon, signing off for now. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.